Hey guys, welcome back to Ever RC. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a needle with a perfect loop. I hope you can see on this camera. Okay, so because I need to make it in bulk, so I bought a row of this 0.6mm diameter steel wire, or some may call it a piano wire. And you need to get a hard type, which is a bit springy, springy instead of uh, the soft type. So this one, this is harder to bend it into shape. So get the get as hard one as you can find in the market. And uh, because it comes in a row, so it's very curvy. I'm gonna cut a portion out first. And then using this straightener, I downloaded from GitHub. I'll share the link to it as well. Using it, I'm gonna straighten the wire first. You need to do it a few times, but if you got your steel wire in straight line or in a smaller quantity, then probably it's really straight enough. And uh, without straightening it, it becomes uh, very difficult to uh, to make a nice loop. Okay, so it's much better now, not as curvy as before. And then the next tool you're gonna need is. This is called a wire looping plier and then also I apply a, a masking tip over here as a reference. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, slot it in from here like this. I'm going to make two full loops. Here you go. Let me show you from another direction. Okay, it's hard to work at this awkward position or trying to show it to you. And uh, making sure that it's in view. I can do this better off camera. Then I make a pen here. Here you go. Then the next tool you're gonna need is the jig, the length jig to uh, make it easy for you to always cut it at the same length. And in this case, because I'm gonna make a, a bulk of them, so I'll slot it in from here first. So you just slot the two loop into this knob here and then I have a plier here where I just uh, put it close to the wall over here and then it will cut the exact uh, correct length for me. Of course it will be different on your plier so you want to have about 2.5mm 2, 2 uh, steel wire produced from the uh, wall here so that when you load it into your welding tip tip of the needle is parallel to the tip of the uh, welding tip uh, exit then you need to file it from four sides to make it uh, sharp like a needle like an actual needle if you you're being lazy and uh, skip this step you, you can still cut but then uh, it'll be very loud and then uh, you're definitely going to have problem with your, your machine some bad thing is confirmed is going to be happen So this jig also uh, make it easy for you to make sure that uh, you're actually making a concave shape, uh, a, a slight angle on uh, all four sides, so that the outcome will be like a like a needle. Take a look at it, check. If it's okay, then make sure that it's straight enough. Try to bend it again. And there you go, with a wire looping plier and uh, the jig over here, you can easily duplicate this needle for your ERC time safe foam board cutter. So that's all for the video. 
Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe as this is a new YouTube channel uh, made specifically for uh, videos about everything, anything that flies or RC plane or RC boat. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.